Hey everybody, what you doing this weekend? So, I don't know what's going on outside. The weather is cold, in my standards anyway, but it's extremely windy, so I have to come to you from inside again today. So, um, but good news, the weekend's supposed to be even better. So of course I wanna encourage you to get up, get out and enjoy our beautiful city and the beautiful weather that we are so fortunate to have. First up, I wanna remind you that this is the last weekend for the Central Florida Fair, happening at the Central Florida Fairgrounds. So now's your chance to ride those carnival rides, play those carnival games, and taste that delicious funnel cake. So head on out to the Central Florida Fairgrounds this weekend. Um, another event happening all weekend long that's over in Winter Park. It is the um, Winter Park Sidewalk Art Festival. That is the oldest, the nation's the oldest, largest, and most prestigious art show around. Um, over 1,400 vendors. Um, put in their application to try to be a part of this, but only 225 were selected, so you know it's gonna be a good one. Last year, they had over 3,500 people um, walk through the festival, so you know it's gonna be a great time, so head on out to Winter Park this weekend. Another event happening all weekend long, that's over at the, in Wakaiba. The Wakaiba, now's your chance to get onto Wakaiba Island for free, because all along the Wakaiba River, they're gonna be have artists, they're gonna have artists um, painting live for you. So they're gonna be in canoes and boats and all along the boardwalk for you to check out. So that might be a, a definite great experience to see an artist in action um, doing their craft. So check out the Wakaiba River over on Wakaiba Island, okay? So um, now, on Friday night, if you're over in the Horizon West area, you don't want to miss the um, launch party for Horizon West Happenings magazine. You definitely want to get your hand on this magazine. It's got a wealth of information in it. It's definitely one for the coffee table books. So um, head on out to the launch party over um, in Summerport. It's going to be great. They're going to have vendors there, food trucks there, and they're even going to have the Amazon treasure truck. Now, if you don't know what the Amazon treasure truck is, go to Amazon and look it up. Only 25 cities are so fortunate to have this Amazon treasure truck, and it's coming to us. Um, they, you know, you go online, you purchase something at a steep discount, um, and they're going to have it on the treasure truck, so you can pick it up live on Friday. So head on out to the launch party for Verizon West Happenings. Um, now, also on Friday, if you're looking for a movie in the park, we have a couple going on up in Apopka at uh, Kitland Nelson Park. They're going to be featuring the movie Despicable Me 3. Over in um, Windermere at the Groves, the Cinema Under the Stars, they're going to be featuring the movie Wonder. And before the movie, they're going to have a, a pre-show puppet show. Um, it's called Zero to Hero, and it's all about anti-bullying, so it's a great learning opportunity for us all. And also... It is Okoe's Food Truck Night and Movie in the Park, and they are featuring the movie Coco, and that's at the Bill Breeze Park. So, um, actually, staying in the Bill Breeze Park for Saturday, you might want to check out the Great Inflatable Race. That's where they're going to have custom bounce houses up and down where you can run, jump, bounce to your heart's content. Uh, it's just $30. Adults, you can act like a kid again uh, because adults, you can partake too. It's going to be great competition and great fun. So you want to head on out to Bill Breeze Park this Saturday for that. Now, if you're over in the Hunter's Creek area, maybe you want to check out the um, Bunny in the Park at the Osprey Park. That's going to be fun. And they're going to have that um, famous marshmallow drop where they're going to be dropping marshmallows from the sky. There's going to be bounce houses for the kids, painting, face painting, food trucks, crafts, and so many other things that you can um, have fun doing. So definitely check out Osprey Park um, over in the Hunters Creek area. Now back in Windermere, it is St. Patrick's Day after all. They're going to be celebrating St. Patrick's Day in front of Town Hall. Uh, there's going to be bounce houses for the kids. There's also going to be adult games too. And for the adults, there's going to be that green beer and Guinness. There's going to be a silent auction and so much more food trucks. So it's definitely going to be a great opportunity for you to uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Windermere. Um, also, something happening this Saturday that you might want to uh, check out. Actually, it's happening Saturday and Sunday. You, if you're over in Mount Dora, you might want to check out the Mount Dora Spring Festival. That's going to be great. It's going to be lots of artists there too, lots of vendors. Downtown Dork Mount Dora is going to be uh, lit up. And it's going to be a fun opportunity for you to check out some beautiful um, art uh, to celebrate spring. Now, speaking of celebrating spring, on Sunday, you might want to check out Orlando Tropical Fest. That is um, De La Salsa Festival happening in uh, Orlando. It's going to be fantastic. It's happening in Festival Park. So there's going to be two main stages featuring live music. There's going to be a great kid zone there. And my favorite food, Spanish food, it's going to be so much delicious food there. I can't stand it. So you definitely want to check it out. That Again, that's on Sunday. 
Well, that's all I'm going to tell you about this weekend. If you want to know more information about anything that I've spoken about today, please see the description below for more details. I'm Tracy Forrester, your local realtor with Keller Williams Classic Realty. If you didn't know what you were doing this weekend, well, now you know. Until next week, bye.